Hi, welcome to Community Connection On Location. I'm Ann Hulagard. I'm the Community Relations Director here at the beautiful Wayfarers Chapel in Rancho Palos Verdes. We have so many great special events going on. In fact, we had two sold out concerts with the sublime voice of J.R. Richards. Now, we're sorry if you didn't get an opportunity to get a ticket, but you're not out of luck because you are going to get a sneak peek at the concert and a special one-on-one -on -one interview. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. I'm one of those people that always has to like learn how to do something else. You know, I, I can't, I can't stand being complacent. I, I go crazy. So. reflected in, in, in the songwriting and, and it's just my cathartic way of, of handling it. Right, <laughs> you know, right. I'd probably be a totally crazy nutty person if I didn't have the ability to go and get it out in that way. So, um, and you know, this, this new record that I'm doing right now, Soul Thing, is a perfect example of that. You know, I'm just, um, you know, I'm older now and it's weird, you know, people around me that are family members, friends, people start passing away. It's been, a, it's been a lot of issues that I had a really close friend of mine that was killed in a car accident. Um, you know, I lost my father, you know, uh, best friend's daughter passed away unexpectedly. And, it, and, it, and it's, um, you know, it was kind of like a weird wake up call for me that, you know, we're not uh, invincible. When the calm comes crashing down. About. I could tell that you had left And it's a shame what we've become When we had the ones we love And it's a place I cannot go My parents are very, they're funny because they don't, um, we don't, we, you know, growing up never really had really big, deep conversations with them, but, they, you know, like my father would just say something and it would be just so politically true and like heavy, you know, that I, I would spin on that for like a couple years and he probably didn't even realize it. To him it was just, you know, some off, off, you know, off remark that he had just made, but, um, you know, he's such an eloquent speaker. You know, and the way that he communicates and a really great writer, something that I wish that he'd always done. So, you know, I always kind of grew up in and around that and, and in, I think in, especially too, when I would, would write something and I would want to go show them, you know, I would want it to be able to, to be up to par, at least try to be up to par to, to the way that they would kind of communicate with me and show them that I'm, I'm not an idiot son. <laughs> long time to write you know and and uh, it's been a challenge um, but I, I, I am really excited about it. it it seemed like uh, for the first year or so I had a really hard time coming up with songs that I felt were you know worthy of sharing with other people and, and uh, um, they just kind of sucked actually <laughs> to be blunt about it but yeah and then and then uh, you know something happens I think um, I did a lot I, you know moved across the country and and just a lot of life changes, tried some different things, you know. Um, I started doing some producing and stuff like that, and then it was like, okay. And then, but the, I'm always writing, I'm always trying to write, or always sit, and it just starts to happen, and then eventually a bunch of really great songs started to come out of it. And
everyone's excited and anticipating the solo album. Um, talk to me a little bit about it. And um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm anticipating it as well. <laughs> it's taken me a long time to write, you know, and, and uh, it's been a challenge. Um, but I, I, I am really excited about it. It, it seemed like uh, for the first year or so, I had a really hard time coming up with songs that I felt were, you know, worthy of sharing with other people. And, and uh, um, they just kind of sucked, actually, <laughs> to be blunt about it. But yeah, and then, and then uh, you know, something happens. I think um, I did a lot, I, you know, moved across the country and, and just a lot of life changes, tried some different things, you know. Um, I started doing some producing and stuff like that. And then it was like, OK. And then, but the, I'm always writing, I'm always trying to write, or I always sit, and it just starts to happen. And then eventually, a bunch of really great songs started to come out of it. And, uh, and next thing I knew, I was sitting around one day, and I'm like, I, I think I have a whole record here, you know? It just kind of snuck up on me. So, um, so I've been in the studio um, off and on for the last few months, and been working with some amazing musicians, and I've and, uh, been really fortunate there. And, and I'm about halfway done, so um, I'm hoping to have something out in April or May. My biggest advice, I think, would be to, to do what makes you happy, you know? Don't try to do what you think is going to sell records or, you know, or get the big studio to buy the script. I mean, I think you really, it needs to come from the heart and because and, uh, I've certainly made that mistake sometimes of getting caught up in what I think, you know, the label wants or what, the, you know, the current state of affairs really wants and that's, you're always kind of chasing something and then and I think that, that you're, you know, your, your creativity is going to suffer. You're the only one. Well, we hope you enjoyed this very close look at Wayfarers Chapel Special Events and J.R. Richards. If you like information about upcoming events, check out wayfarerschapel.org. I'm Ann Hulagard. We'll see you next time. I'll show them to you and you'll see them shine. See you.